Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up a Windows file share subscription in SSRS. So let's go to the report manager and here we have a folder called sales report. I have a few reports here. I would like to export the tooltip chart report to a folder. So this is a chart report. Let's go back here and then to create a subscription, we'll be clicking on the drop down, go to manager and then here we have a subscriptions. Once you click on the subscriptions, uh, we will be clicking on a new subscription. Uh, and as we would like to create a Windows file share subscription, uh, we are going to select that one. And uh, we would like to export uh, this report as uh, Excel. So the name is fine. The second part, we have to provide uh, the path. So let's go to the folder and provide the path. So in my case, uh, let's say if I would like to have this uh, report in the videos file, videos folder, sorry. So I copy the videos folder and just provide that right here. If I put uh, or paste here, it will just give me the videos uh, folder. So now that's not correct. Uh, and it is telling us the path is not valid. The path must be a conform uh, to uniform name and convention. Uh, so it should be UNC path. Uh, so it should have uh, a computer name, then backslash uh, folder and dollar sign and then pa folder path. Uh, so this is not uh, the path. Uh, it is. Uh, Next, next, what we can do, if you don't understand the universal uh, UNC path, we can uh, click here and uh, take this uh, folder path. Even we provide this one, this is not going to take it. So it is asking, uh, provide the UNC path. So UNC path start with backslash backslash your server name or node name or machine name. And then uh, you have drive letter and with dollar sign and then provide the folder name after that. So. Now in our case, uh, if I go to run and then uh, this is the UNC path for my machine. So backslash backslash my computer name, that's Amir PC. In your case, it will be machine name, whatever you are using. And uh, I have C drive, that's after C drive I have dollar sign. And then uh, I will put backslash. And uh, let me copy this one. I can go to the folder structure here and just open from here, just paste. Once I paste this one, I need to go to users because I would like to go to the videos folder. So I'm, I'm navigating all the way to the videos folder. So this is our UNC path. Copy this one and provide right here. The next part is very important. It is asking, okay, which format you would like to export that depends upon your user requirement. In my case, it is Excel. So I'm fine with Excel. And this is the part I was, this is the, part I was uh, talking this is uh, uh, very important uh, the credentials so the credential you have to provide so think about uh, you are exporting this file or a report to this folder the you need a user that has permission on this folder so it should have a read and write permission and especially in our case it should have a write for sure because we are exporting to the folder so to find out if this account has a permission, you can go to the folder and once you are in the folder, right click, go to properties and then go to the security. In my case, Amir underscore, uh, that's my last name, Urayich at hotmail.com um, that has permission and I can see it has full control, modify, read, write, everything. So I can use that one. So let me put, put that one right here. So I put my name and the password here. Then uh, we have overwrite uh, options. Uh, we have option to overwrite existing file. So every time it will uh, overwrite it, do not overwrite the file if previous version exists. Uh, so it will, uh, if the file exists, it will not overwrite. Uh, increment file names as new versions are added. So it will add one, two, three and all that. So we can do with the, uh, that one or uh, let's go with the last one. Now here you will be selecting uh, the schedule. So select schedule and uh, you have hourly, daily, weekly, whatever. Let in our case, we will go with the once. So, or uh, I'm gonna go every day. Let me check the time right now. So it's the uh, four. So I will go with zero four, sorry. And 58 PM. And now this beginning, no ending, fine. And we are all good here, hit okay. Now let's go back to the 
report server database and take a look so in the report server database we can get some information from some of the tables let's go to the dbo subscriptions table so let's find that one here if i will run select query on this table i will see one record as i have created the subscription it tells me who is the owner report id and all those kind of things and here i can see last status new subscription even type and match data so as of right now i do not have any parameters so it is not showing me any value in the parameter if i would have some parameters i could have provide there so if we read on this one once this report will run it will show us the time execution so other thing i would like to show you once you create a subscription it create a sql server agent job so in this case you can see this job so right click here see the properties and you can see that this job is owned by a report server process modifying this job could result in database incompatibilities use report server or management studio to update this job so that's one thing we need to remember so here is that step that's created so you can see that it is executing a store procedure to run our subscription so cancel this out we are fine now we can go and view history and by taking a look on this one we can tell okay okay for at 458 uh, this uh, job was run uh, successfully that's fine let's go to the folder now and check our report uh, so we can see that uh, tool tip uh, chart uh, report uh, is exported to the excel in this uh, folder open this one and we should see a chart here so that's great now we have learned uh, how to create uh, a subscription and then uh, how to execute on schedule so next time it is going to run uh, on 414 so if you refresh this one see remember time subscription last run is not shown here because we have to refresh once we refresh it will show us the last execution time and tells us where it is exported that's great now if we go back to the edit and take a look on the schedule we are running once so it will never run it again if we want to run it at every day we have to select the days like which days we would like to run and then just save the schedule and provide the time time let's say we will do uh, 4 59 p.m. and that's it now you have scheduled the subscription and everything but uh, let's say you would like to run this uh, uh, report uh, and export to a folder and any time that's called on demand your user is asking can you run this report uh, I would like to see in the folder so what you need to do you have multiple ways uh, but I'm gonna show you from here we are in the uh, report server we see the two report server databases are here we are in the SQL server instance uh, and uh, where our report server databases are and uh, we see that when we create the subscription it create a SQL server agent job so we can right click here and say start job that will kick in the subscription and now if we go back it is completed successfully once we go to the folder we can see a new report is exported to the folder because we have selected increment the version that's why it is adding one to it if we would like to override it there is an option I already have shown you guys and if the report does exist there and you do not want to override it that's uh, the option is also there so thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video